In this lesson we're going to take a look at how to move a Marbox database in Exchange Server 2010. So as you can see here, we've got the two Marbox databases on the server. There is the uh, original one that was put there by Exchange Setup, Marbox database, and then the random number string. And then there's the second Marbox database, which is the one we created uh, in the previous lesson. So this Marbox database here, just open up the properties. As you can see, the database path is actually located within the same folder on the C drive as the Exchange Server um, program files were installed. So that's not really where we want it. We want that database to be put on its own uh, dedicated transaction log and database disks um, so that it is more resilient and better performing. So what we can actually do is go ahead and move that um, to its ideal location. Now while I've got these properties open, what I'll also do is just rename the database to Marbox Database 1, and that way it is just consistent with the naming standard that I put in place um, with the other Marbox Database, Marbox Database 2, that I created earlier. So now that we've renamed the database itself, um, we can actually go ahead and move it as well. To do that, you simply uh, you can do it over here in the Actions pane. Um, you can move database path using the Actions pane here, or you can just right click on the database and choose Move Database Path. That brings up the wizard performing, for performing the task. So on the server, once again, we've created uh, extra disks for transaction logs and databases. So this is my box database one. I'm going to place its transaction logs on the F drive. And I'll just create a folder for it called Marbox database one. I'm going to place the database file on the H drive. Once again, creating a folder for it. So that is H drive for the database. folder name in there as well. So H drive Marbox database folder and then the file name of Marbox database one dot edb and the F drive for the log folder. Okay, so H drive for the database, F drive for the log folder in folders called Marbox database one. Um, when you're happy with that, just click on the Move button. Now a warning will pop up to let you know that for the Marbox database to be moved, it needs to be dismounted. So the Marbox, is going to, Marbox database is going to be taken offline or dismounted, then the file's moved, and then it will be mounted again uh, at the end of that move operation. So while it's being moved, it's not going to be available to uh, any end users who are trying to connect to their Marboxes in that database and the move itself will take um, a variable amount of time depending on factors such as the size of the database itself and the speed of the server uh, and the storage system that it's copying to and from. Um, so in this case there's no user, uh, user mailboxes on that database that I need to worry about and the database file is quite small because it's only brand new. So I'll go ahead and say yes. task was completed successfully. So just click finish to clear out that wizard. And we'll go back in and have a look at the mailbox database properties again. And now you can see that the database path has changed to be the new path that we specified in the uh, in the wizard. And we can also see in Windows Explorer that database file now exists in the H drive of the mailbox database one folder. 